don't think anybody really knew what was going on until they saw people on the ground bleeding and heard people screaming and, and heard the commotion because you didn't know when you're in a bar like that, you, you really think that it's music. Traumatized and injured clubbers were held from the scene and taken to hospital for treatment. One mother received texts from her son who said they were trapped in the toilets and they feared they were going to die. Another mother was distraught trying to find out if her son was still alive. I don't know where my son is. No one can tell me where my son is. If he's been shot, if he's dead, no one knows. But they told me there are fatalities. Dozens of emergency vehicles attended outside, including the city's bomb squad and hazardous material team. Immediately following the attack, the gunman is reported to have barricaded himself into the club and taken hostages. The police performed a controlled explosion outside to distract him before he was shot dead. At a news conference, they said he appeared to be armed with an assault-type rifle, a handgun and some sort of device. Do we consider this an act of terrorism? Absolutely, we are investigating this from all parties' perspective as an act of terrorism. Uh, Any time that we have potentially dozens of victims in any of our communities, uh, then I think we can qualify that as a, a terrorist activity. A major investigation is now being undertaken to determine the gunman's motives and whether he was acting alone. Jane Francis Kelly, BBC News.